Welcome to Perfection IAS Editorial Analysis. In today's editorial analysis, we are going to discuss the topic Indus Water Treaty. So, this topic is very important for UPSC prelims as well as for mains. In UPSC mains, this topic will come under international relation topic of GS Paper 2. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the important aspects about the Indus Water Treaty. First, let us discuss the context of the topic. Why this topic was in use? Recently, New India has issued a notification to Pakistan seeking modification of more than six decade old Indus Water Treaty. So, this, wa this water treaty was signed in 1960. So, now it is around uh, 60 uh, years old treaty. So, government had New Delhi had sent a notification to Pakistan regarding modification of the treaty. So because of this thing only, this topic was in news. So before getting into the recent issue, we will see some of the basic information about the Indus Water Treaty. Indus Water Treaty was signed in 1960. Was signed in 1960 between India and Pakistan. The treaty was mediated by World Bank. Okay, so World Bank is the mediator in this treaty. The main purpose of this treaty is to share water of Indus and its tributaries peacefully between India and Pakistan. So, this is the main purpose of this treaty. According to this treaty, three of the eastern river that is Bias, Satlaj and Ravi. So, this three river India can utilize the water of this three river without any restriction. So, according to the city, the three is flowing river Satlaj, Bias and Ravi are belong to India and India can use this use the water of this uh, rivers without any restriction and uh, three west flowing river that is Indus, Jhelum and Chenab. These three rivers belong, belongs to Pakistan and Pakistan can utilize the water of this river fully and one more, condi one more uh, condition is India can use the water for uh, water of this three western river also. Okay. So, India can utilize water from Indus, Jhelum and Chenab also, but only condition is India should not store the water. Okay, so India sh should not build dam and store the water. So, other than that, it can use the water for any other purposes like for irrigation purpose, for hydroelectric power plant, so uh, some other uh, consumption purpose India can use, but only condition is it should not construct any diversion project or dam across the three western flowing river. So, this is the main important condition of the treaty. These factual information are very important for UPSC prelims. So, they may ask about the year and uh, they can ask about the river, which rivers are allocated to India and which rivers are allocated to Pakistan. So, like that, we can expect some factual question from the this, uh, this basic treaty. Okay. So, this is the background of Indus Water Treaty. Currently, India had received, India had sent notification. So, the notification is regarding, according to India, Pakistan is not properly following the treaty. Okay, so pa Pakistan is repeatedly rising objection. So, repeatedly rising objection to the construction of hydro power plant on India side. India, you know, India is constructing some uh, hydro power plant in some west flowing river that is accepted in Indus water treaty but Pakistan is repeatedly raising some objection regarding that thing so because of that only India had sent notification to Pakistan to modify the treaty the notice was sent through commission for Indus, Indus water there was a permanent commission known as permanent commission for Indus Water Treaty. Okay, so this is one of the important commission. In this commission, 
officials from both India and Pakistan will be present in the commission. It will discuss some of the major aspects related to Indus water treaty. So, if any dispute arises between India and Pakistan happen means the committee will solve and it will uh, do field visits of some important uh, projects on the river. So, the basic, these are the basic function of the Indus Water Commission. So, India had sent notice to Pakistan through the commission. Okay, so Indus Water Commission. Within 90 days, Pakistan have to replay for the notification. So, India used the provision Article 12, Clause 3 of the treaty. Okay, so India had used this provision to send, according to this provision only, India had sent notification to Pakistan. So, this provision says that this treaty may from time to time be modified by duly ratified treaty concluded for the purpose between the two countries. So, in any time, if two countries are agreed, they can modify the treaty. So, according to this provision only, India had sent notification to Pakistan. This is the basic thing about recent notification. Now, we will discuss the background of the dispute. So, what is the dispute going on between India and Pakistan regarding Indus Water Treaty? The notice is result of dispute over two hydropower projects of India. So, one is Kishan Ganga hydropower project. So, India is constructing a hydropower project over the river Kishan Ganga. And another project is a rattle. Rattle power project, which is which India is constructing on Chenab River. Okay. So already we had seen the Chenab rivers. Chenab River is allocated to Pakistan. So because of this thing only, Pakistan is raising objection regarding these two India's hydro power project. Okay. So Pakistan has raised objection to this project and a dispute resolution mechanism under the treaty had have been given in multiple times, but no resolution have been reached. So, Pakistan had opposed different uh, dispute resolution mechanism. Uh, Indus Water DD had given some process for dispute resolution. Pakistan had raised many objections in the forum, but till now, there is no resolution has been reached. In 2015, Pakistan asked for neutral export. So, neutral export is one of the dispute re resolution mechanism in Indus Water Treaty. So, Pakistan asked for neutral export to appoint to examine the objection to the project. And again in 2016, Pakistan approached World Bank. So, already we had seen World Bank broke brokered this uh, treaty. So, seeking for the formation of court of arbitration. So, the court of arbitration is final stage of dispute resolution mechanism. So, in uh, according to Indus Water Treaty, there were three stages. Okay. So, first one stage is there, the second stage, the third stage. The court of arbitration is third stage, like our in our judicial system. First, we will go to district court and then high court, and then we will move on to Supreme Court. Like that, there is a graded uh, dispute resolution mechanism given in Indus Water Treaty. But Pakistan is directly jumping into neutral export committee, and now it's asking for Court of Arbitration. Okay, so this is the major issue. Instead of responding to Pakistan recused, India also parallelly approached World Bank for appointment of neutral expert. Okay, so instead of giving replay to Pakistan's notification, India also asked for separate neutral expert committee regarding the two hydro power projects. So, India argued that Pakistan recused uh, for court of arbitration. Okay, now, Pakistan is asking for court of arbitration. Why is the graded mechanism? So, what is graded mechanism? So, already we had seen if there is any dispute arised in this treaty means first it should be solved through Indus Water Commission. Okay, so in Indus Water Commission only official from India and Pakistan will be present. So, first stage is Indus Water Commission. Within the com committee, both country try to resolve the dispute. If that is not resolved means, next they will ask for neutral export. In this stage only, World Bank will enter. Okay. In neutral export committee also, 
the dispute is not resolved means next the dispute will go to court of arbitration so court of arbitration is a final interpreter interpreter and the final decision making authority regarding the body so this is the greater mechanism now india is saying that pakistan didn't took the issue to indus water commission rs rs it didn't took the issue to neutral expert but directly asking for court of arbitration so it violates the mechanism of graded dispute resolution mechanism so this is the argument for india in this dispute now we'll see what action had world bank taken till now in 2016 world bank had a, had announced a pause in the separate process initiated by india and pakistan so india already we had seen india had uh, india had filed a separate complaint and pakistan had filed a separate complaint so because of this two thing for a temporary temporarily world bank had take a pass in this case and it asked for the two countries to seek some alternative way okay so instead of neutral uh, expert committee and court of arbitration world bank recommended the two countries to take some alternative way to resolve the dispute so indus water commission already we had seen the indus water commission meeting will happen every year uh, in 2016 2016 due to uri attack the meeting was stopped and uh, from 2017 the indus water commission meeting had uh, resumed but pakistan had refused to discuss the issue in the meeting india is keen to discuss the issue in the indus water commission meeting but pakistan refused to discuss the issue on the indus water commission meeting so this is already we got seen this is the first stage of graded dispute resolution mechanism of world bank treaty okay so on march 31 recently world bank decided to resume the process of appointing neutral expert and the chairman of arbitration okay so in last october world bank had appointed nickel Mitchell Line as a neutral expert and a Professor Sean Murphy, Sean Murphy as a chairman of Court of Arbitration. But India is now objecting this move of World Bank. According to India, there is no provision in the treaty for parallel process. Now, this process will go 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 in parallel. At the same time, neutral expert committee will will review the uh, dispute and Court of Arbitration will also hear the dispute. So according to India, there is no provision for this kind of parallel, parallel practice, and this practice will create some legal issue. So this is the concern for India. So because of this only, India had given notification. So this is dispute resolution mechanism in Indus Water Treaty. Already we had seen. So according to Part Nine of the Treaty, first the country had to. try to resolve the dispute in indus commission if it is not resolved then the country have to move to neutral expert in last stage the country should move to court of arbitration okay so this is the graded dispute resolution mechanism but pakistan had violated and directly moved to court of arbitration and now world bank is also conducting two thing in parallel Okay, so neutral expert committee is different stage, and court of arbitration is different stage. But now World Bank is conducting these two process simultaneously. That's the objection of India. Okay, so this is the major issue regarding the uh, topic. Okay, so this is the major uh, issue regarding the topic. Now India had given notification to Pakistan. Pakistan should reply within ninety days. So we can able to. Uh, see what happened in future only after 90 days so that's all for today's editorial analysis thanks for watching perfection ias